I've been running both OpenSUSE and Fedora for months now, and honestly, most people are picking the wrong one for their needs. Let me break down what each actually brings to the table. OpenSUSE comes in two flavors, and this matters. Leap is your rock-solid, stable option, while Tumbleweed is their rolling release that's surprisingly bulletproof. What caught me off guard? OpenSUSE's YAST Control Center is genuinely powerful. I mean, you can configure pretty much everything through this GUI, no terminal required. The package manager, Zipper, is fast and reliable. But here's the thing nobody mentions. OpenSUSE demands more resources. I'm talking noticeably higher memory usage, especially on older hardware. Now here's where it gets interesting. Most users love OpenSUSE's attention to detail, the polish is real. But installation takes forever, like genuinely four hours if you want everything configured properly. It's methodical, almost obsessive about getting things right. Fedora takes a completely different approach. It's Red Hat's testing ground, which sounds scary, but actually means you're getting cutting-edge stuff that's been thoroughly tested. The six-month release cycle keeps things fresh without breaking your system. What surprised me most? Fedora's gotten way more user-friendly lately. The installation is quick, maybe 30 minutes, and you're up and running. But here is Fedora's trade-off. Those frequent updates mean you're occasionally dealing with minor hiccups. Nothing system-breaking, but sometimes your workflow gets interrupted. The community support is fantastic, though. Problems get solved fast. Let's be real about who should pick what. Go with OpenSUSE if you want a desktop that just works and stays working. It's perfect for people who want Linux without the constant tinkering. Fedora is better if you like staying current with the latest features and don't mind the occasional update quirk. Both are completely free, so cost isn't a factor. The real question is whether you want rock-solid stability or cutting-edge features. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the most talked about products side by side every week. Software, finance, supplements, basically any niche you care about. Check out the latest comparison here. Or dive into the playlist if you're still deciding. But I'm curious. Which one would you pick? Got a favorite? Drop it in the comments. I'm always curious what real users think.